Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing. It's dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. She's getting closer. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. This is a journey deep into darkness. There'll be no more stories after this one. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? They're watching. Why isn't she turn coming? Back? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already here. can feel you coming. Shh. coming. Quiet. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Well, that's not quite true. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them, just like it changed her. Look, around you. Can you see them over there? Why isn't she looking? <laughs> Why aren't you looking? Is it hell? Look, up ahead. You see it too? You promised you can get Yes. It is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. The place the Northmen call hell. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness... It just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it, turn away. But it's always there, just out of sight where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own, but it isn't bravery that drives her. 
Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Said it was fear runs far. There's no going back. You can't do it. Then who pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering? There's nothing to go back to, and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. Focus. Look closer. Look. Use your eyes. Do not forget my story, Cinema. Because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there. which lies the halls of hell, the place they call Helheim. There's no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Her dear beloved. Dillian. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? He's already dead. The bridge to Helheim. I forget its name. She forgets too. 
But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. Her part wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Let's see, shall we? The Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of Earth, Harvest, Wind and Sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. And that is where you must travel. What's she waiting for? Why did she do that? She shouldn't have done it. She can't go back now. <laughs> no, this is it. The hidden path. Stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye, and you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. I can see one. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. It's near. Focus. Look towards the gate. And the gate will open. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. It worked. I spent six years enslaved in hell. But I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listen? When everyone else laughed. My people pay the heavy price. Carry my stories with you, and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Another voice joins us. She once tried to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim, 
and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship, and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed. the living from the dead. Is that the face of Hela herself? The half-rotten goddess that rules over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him. spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time.
the hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. He's not breathing. Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire. Surt, and the god of illusion, Van Raven, spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. It won't open. How will she get through? Why won't it open? Why can't she open it? She needs to challenge the gods. She has to fight two gods first. Two gods? Two, two gates. gates. Which will she choose first? One of them. the fire giant has answered. He comes from a land older than mankind. And the Northmen call upon his flaming sword to raise their enemies to the ground. Find him, Senua. And spill his blood. She found the wretched old fool on her way back from the wilds. An outcast. He was badly burnt all over. She took pity on him, for he was not long for this world. Like her, who spoke of his own darkness. The Northmen. Senua. We each walk these lands, gazing towards different horizons, some of us further than others. Your father cannot see what you see, but there is nothing wrong with seeing the world the way you do.
Look towards the gate, and you will see that it has opened. enough of their tongue to beg for mercy, and they took me as a slave. I wish now that they had slaughtered me like the others. I rode their storm of fire, death, slavery to many lands. This darkness you speak of? <laughs> I know it well. And I'm still here to fight it. say that the defender of Muspel is called Surt, the foremost of the fire giants. His name means the Black One, because he is like something burnt. The Northmen believe that he sits in the border of Muspel. Find the fire, Senua, to follow the path to Surt. It's too far. She'll never find it. She'll never make her way back. She needs to remember the way back. What happens when she finds it? Everything will burn. Concentrate. Concentrate on where you're going. She needs to remember the path. Everything will burn. Then how will she find the way back? <laughs> she won't. She won't be able to tell. sacrifices, burning slaves like me to reveal the path to Surt. I searched for meaning in their suffering, in their eyes. But they just screamed like helpless pigs. Thank <laughs> you. 
gods answer your prayers, Senua. I asked the gods for mercy, all of them, even theirs. None answered. In the end, I set myself free. Defy the gods, Senua! Find your own path, like I find mine! My gods abandoned me! I am alone. Insatiable gods of darkness. I come from Eren, Senua, where I once followed my own gods, the Tuatha de Danann. Why did you abandon your gods? Senua, I was a man of knowledge, not a warrior. To survive, I did things. Bad things. Like you, Senua. The man I once was has died. And when that happens, even gods you worship can die with you.
How did you escape your darkness? Sadua, once I found my purpose, I was no longer enslaved to the suffering I had to endure to reach it. Unclouded by fear, I could see it clearly in others. Even my captors feared the fire of Surt. And so, during one raid, I took my chance and ran, knowing that they would not follow. A fool ran into the fire. <laughs> they left me for dead. Maybe they were right to. But here I am. Free. I'm glad I found you in the wilds. I wouldn't have made it without you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This darkness takes everything. Everyone. Senua. Are you sure you want to do this? We can fight this together. Side by side. We always do. This is my battle. I have to face it alone, away from here. Where will you go? I don't know. For how long? I don't know. I believe in you. You know that. Just promise me that you will come back to me. I want you to say it. I want you to say it. I will come back to you. I promise. Everything, everyone, but not me. 
me. Fight me now! have their time. Yet we still go on. Why? I made a promise. Mm. And I will go to hell to keep I it. die free. Knowing you will carry my stories with you. <sighs> I have fulfilled my quest. Yes, you have. When the darkness comes, I vow to guide you in this life and the next to fulfill yours. Then I will see you in hell. Be ready to face horror in the eye as I have to find your answers. Your quest. Truth was a troubled man, a scholar turned slave. They tortured him, took him with them on their raids, and drove him to madness. Spreading this new form of darkness to new worlds, to my world. Senua saw a deep connection form between the Northmen and the darkness. If the tales of hell were true, then that was the source of it. She learned everything she could from him, until she too could see what he saw. of self is shattered, you simply cease to be. Though it may not 
not seem that way to others. You know when it is true. You can feel it. A stranger in your own body. An imposter. And nothing is the same ever again. Senua has died before. And she will do so again. say that in the beginning there was nothing but darkness, bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice and the first giant was born and was named Emir. The ice continued to drip and the power of the void gave life to it, and it became a cow whose milk fed the giant. That's right, a cow, but you weren't expecting that. <laughs> 